downrange uh, through which it will be going looks like it's at about uh, oh what would you say six thousand feet something like that perhaps it's pretty low. Uh, it was uh, eight thousand a little earlier and looks lower to now might even be lower than that uh, that's uh, only going to take us through uh, less than a minute of flight and uh, then she's going to disappear behind that cloud and uh, our long-range cameras that do such a beautiful job uh, aren't going to get to see the separation of the s1c uh, first stage or the staging into the second stage or the staging to the third stage which we have seen in the past with that remarkable camera uh, that's a disappointment uh, but uh, at least we'll watch launch off here that's the cue ball uh, the shield on the top very top of the uh, spacecraft configuration the entire apollo 14 and that's what blows off at 10 minutes 10 seconds uh, before the launch of those five engines in the first stage of the saturn five will begin at eight point nine seconds and we'll stay with him now for the next minute and 45 seconds to launch still go with apollo 14. we'll go on internal power in the saturn five launch vehicle at the 50 second mark in the count at ignition and liftoff, we'll have more than seven and a half million pounds of thrust pushing the space vehicle off the launch pad. This is the heaviest Saturn V space vehicle to be launched thus far. Coming up on the one minute, 20 second mark. One minute, 20 seconds and counting still go at this time. Third stage tanks now are pressurized according to our stratus board here in the firing room. One minute, 10 seconds and counting. This is Kennedy Launch Control coming up in 60 seconds. Mark, T minus 60 seconds and counting. Still go with the count. First stage uh, tanks are now pressurized as our status board uh, gives us a rundown on the automatic sequence. 50 seconds and counting. We've now gone on internal power on the internal batteries of the Saturn V as the count continues. 40 seconds and counting. Alan Shepard reports that he's performing his final guidance alignment, the final uh, maneuver the astronauts perform before liftoff. 30 seconds and counting. Stu Russo just said thanks. It's been a good count. 25 seconds and counting. We are still go. 20 seconds. Guidance alert. The guidance system now going internal. 15, 14, 13, 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, ignition sequence start, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, launch commit, liftoff, we have liftoff with Apollo 14, 3 minutes past the hour, the tower is clear, Houston is controlling, it's right now. 16 seconds, pitch and roll program started, 14 maneuvering to a proper flight course. Are coming down, adjusting from sea level to a space environment. We have a remote camera. Status working, check right? and mission control are coming up all greens on the flight director's console. In Houston, everything looks good here on the ground. Right. Oh, One well, minute, 19 right? seconds that's coming great. up on period of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. That, that camera you see is further down range. It's down the Florida coast here, and apparently they've got a clear shot. Huh? I think this is the Rivero Beach camera, in fact, yeah. way down there. Yes, it looks great. It's what, uh, it's what, 60 miles down, down the coast? One minute, uh, 35 seconds, uh, 9 nautical miles in altitude, 5 nautical miles downrange. Uh, velocity now reading uh, 33, uh, 140 feet per second. They've been through the uh, first real test, the maximum demanding pressure area. That we came at 1 minute, 25 seconds into the flight. Uh, that's uh, where they get the maximum buffeting is the escape. Pass the through max Q. Mode one Charlie. Mark, one Charlie now. We're one Charlie. EDS auto is off. We've already gotcha. seen the uh, first Two stage shut down now. Uh, coming up on uh, center engine shutdown. Two 
Seven minutes, 12 seconds, 20 nautical miles in altitude. Inboard, cut off. Roger, inboard. Center engine shut down on time. That's two minutes, 25 seconds, 25 nautical miles in altitude, 30 nautical miles downrange. Another 15 seconds, all of those uh, first stage engines cut down. The other four on the outer Mark, ring. Two minutes, 35 seconds uh, coming up uh, on staging. That's a great shot. Beautiful. Cut off. Roger. And separation. Roger. Ignition on five. Roger. Great. The next stage is Head going. Head staging. Uh, the Shepard crew now riding on five good second stage engines. Yes. On five engines. Look at that. You can see that big first stage Roger. dropping we back there. Good thrust on all five. This is the one we hope to fly the, back uh, sometime in the future. The giant first stage falling away now. It's day's work done. That's a frightening. Three minutes, ten seconds, coming up on skirt step and tower jettison. Frightening explosion when that thing is separate. You think the whole Roger. thing's gone. You should see it from the inside. Yeah. <laughs> you can see it, really. There you see the tower jettison. And now they can Roger. all look out. <laughs> That's the tower that they walked tower more than they flew on, on before. <laughs> there there she is. Water auto. Roger, Ed. Great sequence. That's the best picture. Three minutes, minutes 35 yes. seconds, uh, 14 now, 33 feet shorter, 9,000 pounds lighter, uh, moving out well beyond the Earth's atmosphere. We show an altitude of uh, 16 nautical miles. That's the tower right at the top of the uh, Saturn that would pull the command module free in case there were a catastrophic uh, disaster in the Mark, uh, three minutes, 55 seconds, 63 nautical miles in altitude, 143 nautical miles downrange, velocity now. Send that four minutes, trajectory and guidance look good. 14, roger. That's, uh, that's Russo's voice we're hearing, uh, isn't it? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Roger, go. CMC, go. Four minutes, uh, 20 seconds. Velocity now reading at uh, 10,750 feet per second and accelerating. The voice you're hearing from ground control. In uh, mission control, Apollo 14's trajectory data driving right down the middle of our plot boards. Uh, right now, flight path data is go. That voice is John McLeish, the voice of Apollo and the mission control in Houston. The capsule communicator you hear talking to the spacecraft is Major Gordon Fullerton, uh, one of the astronauts. And the voice you hear from the Apollo uh, is that of the command module pilot, 37-year-old uh, Stuart Rusa. He's sitting Coming there in the middle seat. Five minutes, uh, 78 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 235 nautical miles downrange. And so it looks like Apollo 14 got away from Florida and Retro this part of Earth in very good uh, shape. 14 is clear of the uh, Atlantic uh, weather. It's pointed out to me here that the reason our pictures are so good and the great good fortune we've got that that camera is, is down the Florida coast and out of this immediate storm area. And isn't that amazing? Just, just 60 miles or so down there, I think, but it's fairly clear there up to that moment. Predicted uh, uh, time uh, for S2 shutdown, uh, 9 minutes, 16 seconds. Uh, very close to normal. We're at 5 minutes, 45 seconds. But, uh, Stand reason. by for S4B to COI. Mark, S4B to COI now. S4B to COI. Roger, and your times are nominal. Level sense arm 8 plus 3, niner. And S2 cutoff at niner plus 1, 6. Yeah, nominal. Here comes. Yes, Captain two. Tom Gordon Fullerton reporting that 14 capable of reaching a minimum orbit uh, with a combination of a good third stage and service module engines. Meanwhile, in mission control, a status check being taken, coming up all greens. So if they can make uh, six their... Six minutes, 20 seconds, uh, 1491 nautical... They can make their uh, Earth orbit now under any orbit. circumstance. Right. This is significant to us because you know that you can at least get there rather than have to abort possibly and go into a uh, continent area and you don't like to land that way but at least you can have a chance now to overfly the uh, surface of the earth and not worry about impacting land. Uh,